Hello everyone and welcome back to the 20 part tutorial of how to model the bathroom. We're going to continue with creating now our pivot here. So I'll try to make it fast and clear for you. Um, I'm going to right click choose face, double click on this face, loop selected it. You just need those faces here, delete, uh, sorry, shift right click, duplicate face, press F8 three times and that's good. Now I'm going to unselect this and move this out. So first let's center the pivot for it. So we'll see the pivot, bring this out side. I'm gonna press three to smooth preview this. And I'm gonna reverse the normals for this first. Reverse. I'm gonna right click choose edge. Let's say that we don't need to cover that area there. I just want here to have some um, understanding on how, well, this will be good I think. So no understanding, I just need to get rid of unnecessary edges here first. So you see we have two of each, so I don't want this one and I don't want this one. And shift right click delete, edge. I'm gonna right click put, uh, choose edge, let's extrude these. All right, sorry, switch to scale tool, extrude them that way and then extrude them once more and switch to scale tool and extrude them that way so you can see what we are creating here that way we will take these four vertices okay switch to scale tool make sure it's scale tool and we will spread them so it will become a square like so okay now it doesn't have to be square I guess maybe maybe not yet you know what I'm going to undo that. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm going to extrude this and switch to move tool. And I'm going to rotate that this direction. That way. Okay. Now, I'm going to continue and do so. Move this out, extrude, <coughs> rotate it a little bit more like so and all well, that's a little bit too much move it outside and yeah let's bring it here and I'm going to extrude it once more switch to move tool and bring this that way. Okay, so I'm making a pivot like so, which right now I don't really like the way it looks, but don't worry, we will work it out. So I assume that it goes in that way, and what I care here is really about the curve here, on how it will uh, perform here in this situation. I'm going to try and grab this edge. Shift right click slide edge tool. Middle mouse click hold and drag and you can see it's sliding that way but then I will bring this upwards. I'm making it really smoother that way. See press 3 looks good. I can press F8. Right click choose edge. Double click on this edge. Click extrude once more. Switch to scale tool. And now as we did earlier I'm going to scale it to about that and then I will grab those four vertices, these and those and I'm going to spread them to be a square shape like so. Then I'll grab these three and the three there but I'm also selecting those so let's unselect those. Okay, I'm going to turn on the x-ray, you can see it better. So I'm trying to squeeze those a little bit that way, just a little bit, not much. <coughs> Press F8, let's turn off the x-ray. Let's bring those. You see they are not touching the seat yet, so that's good. And I wanted to lift them up, but I can see that that's co cool, so no problem with that. Um, I will only add edge loops 
Um, maybe, you know what? Let's see. I will grab this edge and I'm going to extrude it. Switch to, let's see, scale tool. Do something such as this. But then I will grab these two, extrude them over here. And I will grab these two here, press G to extrude, and move them over here a little bit, uh, like so. Yes, that's fine. Maybe even less. As long as we have those two, okay? Now, you're going to grab these entire frame of them, extrude them. If we want, we can, well, now let's leave it that way. I'm going to simply move them downwards that way and press F8. Now, I want to take another edge loop here before I'm creating the edges there, okay? And main reason is to grab these faces here and extrude them to about that. Now, with doing this, basically, I'm ring here something. I'm going to press 3. Uh, you can see I'm just screwing here with something, so I'm going to undo that first. And in order to really do whatever I wanted to do here, I have to have a little bit space here. So what I will do, I will create <coughs> I will create another, well, I can put it there, so it's a little bit bothering me. I'm going to delete those faces, simple as that. It's becoming harder than I thought. So I'm going to grab these faces, put them just a little bit outside, but still in the same area frame here, okay, and then I'm going to press F8, isolate this. Now I will get rid of those, but I can as well as grab this edge here. Instead of getting rid of those faces here, I will switch to Scale Tool and scale them that way, just a little bit. Even more, I don't know, something like that. We will be able to grab the Merge Vertex tool and bring those into place where we deleted the others. So what I was trying to achieve is some kind of a harder base here for this pivot. Something like that. Now we can just add a little bit more edge loops here to make it make this sharper like it was a part of plastic which holds this tight to this uh, you know base. I'm gonna add one more edge loop here, probably, I don't need to here, but maybe we'll add, why not, let's add edge loop here, edge loop there, and here I want to add one edge loop that way, here, and I'm going to press 3 to have a look at this, looks like here I don't need more, but we can add one as just as there, and press F8. Well, you see what we've got. And I think that that edge that I just added was a little bit too much. So I'm going to switch back to non-smooth preview mode and get rid of this edge. Double click and shift right click, delete edge. All right. Press F8. 3. Sure looks good. Nothing more than that. It's pretty good. So, um, with that done, um, if you want to add like screws here, I don't know, just put them on top and that's it. <laughs> okay, don't don't do any more modification to this shape. It's just waste of time. I'm gonna unisolate un this. Press three to see that it really fits there. And with that, I can Control D, duplicate this, switch to Move Tool, move it here, 
switch to scale tool, open the channel box. Now I'm going to do something such as this. I'm going to squeeze this that way and you can see the values here starting to move. Okay, pay attention again to the there, you see they are moving. So right now it's on one. I only need one minus one to enter and it will duplicate, it will flip it. But we need to go over normals and reverse normals and move this into place. Okay. I think that's fine. Press F8 and that's cool. Now one more thing before we're gonna wrap this part is you can grab this, okay, and hold on the D and the V key, and simply click, uh, middle mouse click, hold, and drag this center of the pivot, and position it here. Now I'm going to press D and move it here, that way. And it's not really center. There is a way we can handle with this right now, but just in case you know how to do this, just don't forget to relocate your pivots there. You can see I'm relaying on this vertex here to the center, but then I will have to bring it to the center of this polygon pipe, sorry. D, like here or something, okay? Now, let's try and, well, sorry. Let's try and move this, so it's rotating nicely. We need to stop this on top of this here, and move this one towards here. By the way, I missed some edge loops to add to the second, this one. Okay, but as for now, that sure looks good, okay? so. Thank you for watching this. Uh, don't forget to save file, save scene as. Um, please don't forget to share the tutorial if you find them helpful. Um, this is the very small thing you can do for me and for the channel. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And if you have any question, of course, you can uh, write to me on the Facebook fan page. By the way, uh, some people write to me in the, the new in inside uh, YouTube, and um, YouTube has changed the layout of this of their website, and therefore it's like very rare that I will go into this message platform. Um, it's just not really accessible. I need to look for it under sub menus in order to reach there. And Facebook were always the best, I don't know, the best way to contact me on any question you have. Um, if I have the answers, sure, I will help you. If not, I probably research a little bit and try to help you. And just be aware that this is the case. And for some people, I didn't answer because it was like three months ago. I don't know. I know it's a little bit rude, but I don't know. Sometimes people have this... Uh, I don't know, they are asking for me different things that really doesn't have got to do with my channel or anything that I can help with. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe, share, and also follow me on Facebook. And have a good day. Bye-bye.